Felix Doe. And I have Rob Palmer. Hello. Good morning, Rob. And Russ Morgan. Hey. Hello. Um, what they're going to do is explain how to set the club. Um, away you go, boys. Oh, oh me. I'm on. For, for yeah. Well, um, Rob and I, how long have you known one another for? <sighs> Five or six years. Five or six yeah. years. Yeah, we met just locally on the scene, I suppose, yeah. digging around Cambridge mm -hmm. and St Edmunds yeah. and Norwich and that kind of thing. And um, it occurred to us really fairly soon on that, yeah. that, that we were travelling around a lot within East Anglia to do gigs mm -hmm. and that we thought it was a bit crazy that there wasn't anything far more local happening. Yeah. Yeah. So we had the idea of starting something, and it's taken us, I guess, a couple of years mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. to do that. And that starts this Sunday. This mm -hmm. Sunday. And mm -hmm. where are you going to be this Sunday? We're going to be at the Fludger Arms Hotel in ah. Phoenix on the 16th of June through to the 21st of July. Fantastic. That's lovely. And what time are you going to be there? 7.30 start, music yep. finishes around 10, so you can still get back to bed if you need to, absolutely nice and early on a Sunday, brilliant. ready for work in the morning. Fantastic. That's absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. So who have you got playing on the first day? John Etheridge. All right. Can you tell us a little bit about John? I think you know more about John. Than yeah, you. indeed. I mean, John, John's uh, uh, very much a kind of established figure on the uh, national, uh, well, the national and international jazz scene. Uh, John's played with... Um, Really huge names, some of the biggest names in in, in the world. Um, uh, Stefan Grappelli um, mm -hmm. is, is, I think, is probably the, the, mm -hmm. the greatest one he's played. He's mm -hmm. currently touring, as we speak, with uh, John Williams, you know, the great yeah. guitarist uh, um, from from Sky and, and various other sort of classical areas. But uh, I mean, John John's been been playing with all sorts of bands. A Soft Machine was another band he played with in the seventies. Mm -hmm. One of the great jazz rock pioneers. Um, uh, and, and you know the list goes on and on. Um, uh, he's, 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 he's very, very much a, a, a kind of a, a national and international sort of name on the jazz scene. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We've also got Dave Gordon uh, on piano this Sunday, which uh, you know is a bit of a coup for us because Dave, Dave's a, sort of got his own kind of reputation. Hasn't he? Yes, yes. He 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 uh, sort of classical baroque. Uh, oh, okay, player. that's really, uh, has really interesting. In some huge, huge orchestras uh, in this country internationally as well. Yeah, uh, and fantastic jazz piano player as well. Right. Uh, and yeah, well, I'm not going to say too much about him. I think you should come down and just yeah, uh, just look at him. So. He's a real, a real star. <laughs> the two of them, having John and Dave on the same stage, I think, absolutely, absolutely, very energetic. Yeah. We can't, we can't but fail. No, no. Um, but the the uh, as I say the the, the the project basically goes on for the next six weeks yeah. uh, after the 16th. And um, the second week, uh, we've got um, is it Julian Siegel. Julian Siegel Julian from Siegel. Partizans, his own group. He's, who else has Julian played with? Well, everybody, really. Well, yeah, uh, Joey Barron, amazing uh, New York mm -hmm. American jazz drummer. He's yeah. recorded with him. Um, so uh, who's, who have we got playing with Julian? Oh, Andy Watson. Andy, Andy Watson. Watson. Yeah. Fantastic. And, and Andy Watson. Yeah, great. East Anglia player. based modern okay. jazz guitarist. Yeah. Okay. He's one of the Somebody senior lecturers at Colchester. He is. He is. Yeah. yeah. No. Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> uh, and then the third week we've got Jim Mullen. Uh, Jim yeah. Mullen was a guitar player for a period with the Average White Band. He's also famous mm. for. The kind of the, the 80s jazz funk out with mm. Morrissey mm. Mullen, mm. huge, huge, um, huge influ influential band on the London scene. Uh, but Jim's been touring, you know, for, for decades, and he's, he's well respected. One, another one of the great, great mm. guitar players in the UK. Mm. Um, so you know that's that's really exciting. We've got a sax player coming along for that one, isn't we? George Grant. George Grant, who's a, an Ipswich player. Right. Uh, young guys are very much kind of. In the Cannibal Adderley uh, frame, and, and a lot of the uh, local players really rate George, so we thought we'd sort of bring him along yeah, on that on that, uh, on that occasion. And then uh, week four is, is that Nigel Price that week? Uh, that's Gareth Lockrain. Go oh, Gareth Lockrain. Okay. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got the order of things. Yeah, Gareth, Lock <laughs> Gareth is a a, a, a great um, uh, flautist, great flute player. Yeah. Um, who and uh, who you played with in the past? Yes, yeah, a few times. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. He plays a whole range of flutes, doesn't he? he does, yes, yeah. incredible player, and, and, and a great composer as well. Yeah. And whether we'll get to play any of his tunes, I'm not sure because they're they're they're, they're tough. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're tough nuts to crack. And then uh, the following week is Nigel Price and uh, Vasilis Zinopoulos, oh my which uh, which is a great name. I, I think people just come along to see the name. Really, I mean, uh, never mind to hear him play, but but great players. Um, Nigel is. Uh, uh, award-winning. He's he's won the sort of parliamentary jazz award. Uh, yeah. Um, he's very very highly celebrated. Again, one of the sort of great great g guitar players in the UK. I, I've been playing with Nigel for a long time. I know Nigel back. Uh, I used to live in Surrey, so I, I've known Nigel for 15 years right. uh, before he became mm. famous. And even then, he was good, but he's you know he's, he's just got better and better and better and mm. better as, as mm. time has passed. And then on the final week, we've got another another coup for us, I think, is a chap called Martin Speak, who's a, um, a sax saxophonist, alto sax player, who uh, is, is actually an ECM recording artist, and ECM is probably by far the, the yeah. biggest European jazz record label. It's a bit like saying Deutsche Grammophon for classical, yeah. isn't it? It's, it's absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, it's, it's huge. Right up there. You know, I mean, he's played with people like Paul Motion, mm. Mm. Um, people like that. And, you know, absolutely kind of great, great, great player. Um, so, uh, I mean, for us, uh, as... as um, Players ourselves, you know, it's exci exciting for us to play with these guys. But you know, for, for the audience, you know, we can pretty much guarantee some pretty spectacular. So every week it'll be a quartet of, it, of, sort yeah. of sax, piano, bass, drums, and and will remain the same each week. Yeah, and, and yeah, because we've got a few U two guys we, to be playing as well. Yes, we'll be sort of doing the rhythm section and backing them up. So. I, I think it, yeah. for us, it's, it's important mm -hmm. to say that one of the drivers for us for this particular project was that we we didn't want it to be a just another cheesy kind of cabaret jazz mm. kind of restaurant gig that, that mm. where people could sit and talk all the way sure. through the, the, the jazz what was mm. um you know uh, the musicians sort of pl politely played in the corner we, we wanted this to kind of bring bring this sense that jazz is, is a living sort of vibrant breathing music and, yes. you know, and it has relevance today and isn't isn't just an historical nostalgia thing where we're for, for um for kind of people to kind of use as quasi um yeah. Background music. The thing um, is, I mean, I think what people don't realise there's many, many different forms of jazz. Absolutely. I mean, you used to have your standards, your cat bases, and that sort of thing yeah. going back, um, back into the 40s, 50s, and that's the way people look at it. That is jazz. Yeah. But as I say, there's many different forms. I mean, if you can explain, Absolutely. if you can explain to to the viewers, exactly. Well, well, there are. I mean, you know, and and you know, the first the first categorisation that people are generally aware of is is, is the, the traditional jazz versus modern jazz, yeah. which. Uh, um, you know, we're firmly in the modern jazz camp. Mm. You know, so if people are, are fans of, of trad jazz, they're going to probably f struggle a little bit with what we're doing. Mm. But uh, in terms of modern jazz, I mean, modern jazz has, has been a term that's been around for sixty years, and it's and yeah. it's, it's split and split and split yeah, time exactly. and time again. And uh, you know, the players that we're playing with down uh, down at the Fludges are, are you know, exponents of. Um, uh, every form of, sort of, sort of some, some, some quite free music, right the way through to some really through composed, really mm. sort of intelligent stuff. Mm. And and you know this is this is intelligent jazz. This isn't uh, you know it's, there's nothing lightweight about this at all. And, and I think you know, I mean Russ and I talked about this before we started up, and we wanted to you know in a sense give give, give the audience the respect they do because what I found yeah. for years. Is that if you go if you go and do gigs? I mean, we've done hundreds and hundreds of gigs all around East Anglia and also around the UK. And if if you play play down to your audience and you assume they're all stupid, they switch off. Mm -hmm. And and yes, uh, uh, what I found is that if if, if you play bland standards that everyone's heard before, mm. people kind of ignore you. And it's it's when you start to breathe some life into what you do. Yeah. That's when people literally sit up and take notice. Exactly. And what we're what we're about is to say is, is this is jazz that people are going to want to listen to. Yeah. Not not not. Sit in the corner ignoring. So, in a way, I think jazz is, is a way is an interactive sort of music. Very much so, isn't mm. it? So, so it works yeah. best when when you've got an audience that's kind of working with you. It, that that's when it really comes to life. Exactly. Uh, as I said, sitting in the corner, you know, having people come up to you asking you to turn down a bit because they can't hear their conversations. Mm. You know, it's it, 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 it's 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 the death knell for the music. If if you can't mm. take it where you want it to go, you know, during the performance. Then you're you're automatically going to be stilted. You're automatically going to be kind of compromised in terms of what you're doing. So, as I said, we're hoping to scare a few sort of small animals and children in the process. And, <laughs> you know, um, 
frighten some uh, uh, people, but uh, you know, as I said, I, I, I think there's plenty of people in, in Felix who are going to yeah. enjoy the trip. It's a lovely venue as well, so so we. So it's a beautiful. Kind of a... I mean, we were so lucky to have this beautiful state-of-the-art hotel that's mm. obviously recently opened. It's a great barn. Know. We we had a kind of yeah. test yeah. We do. We took out a yeah. test and it's fantastic lighting. It's a real club environment. You, yes. You'll, you'll think yes. you're going to be in a, in a London jazz club. That's how I Fantastic. Ronnie edge. Scott's number two. Here go. we come. Here you go. Absolutely fantastic. That's really, really good, isn't it? So, okay, you're going up to the 21st of July. So, what plans have you got after that? Well, we're hope we're hopeful um, that, uh, as I said, it, it's it's uh, Tim Yeo at the Fludges has basically been underwriting this for us. We're we're, we're doing all the organisation. Mm. We, we we have a kind of carte blanche to book the, the acts that we want, yeah. which is in the sense that we we have the we have the jazz knowledge, the jazz yeah, expertise. Exactly. Tim has the the kind of the, the expertise in terms of the venue, and. Uh, um, He's given an indication he'd like to take this up to Christmas uh, in, in the first instance, and then see where we are and, and, and take it from there. Yeah. So yeah. you know, we've, we've certainly right. got a six-week run. Uh, we're hopeful it's going to go beyond that, um, and then after that, it's just a question of how many people are turning up and whether or not there's. I'm sure they will. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure. I think it's what Felix so is needed. Um, I think we get a little bit fed up occasionally with the. I like rock bands, but we get a lot of mm. them. Karaoke. I think we've got plenty of that sort of thing. Yeah. Let's have some proper music. Indeed. Well, this know. is exactly our yeah. idea that the, even when yeah. you do get music on in, in local venues, it's it's, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's not always of a certain type of just of quality, but it's mm. to do with not really actually no, exactly. creating something, you know, karaoke. And, and I think a lot of people just sort of turn up and it's treat, treated like background. And yes, it is. This is not going to be that. It is. No. I mean, it's probably worth drawing people's attention to a, a couple of things. We, we we do have a website and we have a, a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Jazz East at the Fludgers, which is, okay. is, will be the title of this piece, I understand. So mm -hmm. that would be easy to remember. And the, the website is uh, www.jazzeast.vpweb.com. Co.uk. There we are. I Hope you all remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, if you stick Jazzy to the fledges onto onto your search engine, it'll, it'll yeah, pop up. And, exactly. and, and and whatever happens over the as after the six week uh, mm. the initial six week period, obviously we'll be flagging it up on those on those two pages Fantastic. particularly. And we do have leaflets. You'll you'll see leaflets all over Felix though in, in shop yeah. windows and uh, in in kind of libraries and things. So yeah, the information is out there. But uh, yeah, yeah. Um, we're, we're looking forward to having people coming along and, and letting us know what they want. I mean, you know, we, we, if people have a particular artist they were interested in us to see if we can secure them, mm -hmm. then, then, then you know, we will try uh, as long as it kind of fits in with the kind of ethos of what we're trying to do. Yeah. Said, there are there are a few artists out there who are you know very competent, and capable, but um, not not in a sense of sort of working in, in in the same sort of fields that we we want to right, explore. Yeah, here. So, yeah. uh, so yeah. you know, there'll, there'll be a few uh, of the old school, and um, yeah, I have to say, as my own prejudice, but I've got a real down on singers. You know, there are some great, <laughs> there are some great singers out there, but there are some very. We have no songs. singers coming in this first yes. week. Right, we, I think we, it's no fine. No we did that. That was that was a conscious choice. I mean, I love singers. You know, um, there's nothing wrong with singers, but quite often, you know, do I really want to hear another version of? of some no. of those standards. Well, that's the thing anyway, but I, I think really yes. you must agree. I think if, if an instrument sings itself, yes. an instrument's mm -hmm. got a voice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. True. So let that, so let that to, sing yeah. to the people. The other thing that's worth mentioning yeah. is, of course, that it's free to get in. Ah, free, there you go. Yes. International, national level players yes. playing with the best of the region's players yep. in a fantastic environment where there's good food, good beer, exactly. good wines, and you don't have to pay to and, and, you know, these guys, the, the guys we're booking, all of them uh, will, will have appeared at Ronnie Scott's, will have appeared at the 606 mm. Club, and to, to, to see them in those environments, yeah, you need huge to pay 20, around the country 30, as well. 30, yeah. 40 Definitely. quid. Yeah. For a ticket, and we're getting them for nothing. I mean, it's fantastic. Yeah, that's great. Well, we're not it? getting them for nothing. Well, but they are. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bargain for Felix, though. That's the main That's thing. We're the lucky is. ones, aren't we? It certainly is. Can you give me a little insight how you two actually met? Well, as I, I think, as I recall, I I had a gig at uh, the Fox in the Fox Inn in Bury St Edmunds, mm. and um, as I recall, the piano player I booked, a guy called Chris Ingham, who's mm. uh, he's coming down yeah, the gigs. He, he certainly is. He'd be playing yeah. playing alongside uh, Gareth Gareth Lockridge. Yeah. Um, and Chris, Chris recommended Russ because um, I, I, I've been I've been living in Felixstowe for about six years before right. I even knew Russ 
existed. Yeah, well, that's quite bizarre, about, isn't it? It lives about 300 <laughs> years we were, away. we were all going like 100 miles in every direction as yes. two geeks, and we but didn't realise that there was a bass <laughs> player and a drummer <laughs> living in this town. Yeah. And then we, we did this gig in um, in uh, the Fox, and I have to say it was great. It was a great gig. I mean, yeah. dr drummers and bass players basically are, um, in a sense, always on the lookout for reliable. Because you know, mm. at the end of the day, I can't do what I do if Russ doesn't do what he does well, yeah. and vice versa. Mm. And um, for for you know, bass players and drummers, having having a bass player or drummer who who's not quite up to the mark yeah. is, it will drag. Or plays in a different style. It's the Absolutely. same for any yes. form of music mm. as well. Even if you're playing in rock or whatever, yes. the bass player and the drummer are not locking in. Everything mm. that lays on the top of that ultimately fails. Well, of course it does. So, and that's a stylistic thing. It's it's an emotional thing. It's a creative thing. And but Russ, yeah. we kind of locked in. Abs and Absolutely, and it. and as a consequence of that, Russ and I. Uh, so joined together in you know uh, we've got our own band as well mm. Trio East which is where the jazzy thing came from our, our own band is Trio East which is you still you still perform you still perform yeah yeah, 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 yeah absolutely yeah. Uh, Trio East yeah. is myself and Russ and a, a, a saxophone player from Barry St Edmunds called Mike Clifford mm -hmm. and uh, we, you know, we we we've already played at the Fludges we did we did that kind of practice night that we did which 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 was good job we did because we found a few wiring problems in terms yes. of microphones and um, but we still. So it all out now, so it's all good. Out. So, so we're, we're looking forward. I, I, I've got some new leads being de delivered almost as we speak, Great. Uh, ready for Sunday. So everything should sound, you know, hundred percent. So yeah, very excited. Well, boys, yeah, that's been absolutely brilliant talking to you, good. and I am Thank sure you. that Sunday's going to be a total success. Just get yourself down to the Fludgers. Jazzy's here we come. <laughs>